All right, so The Boys season four just dropped, I believe, two weeks ago. We've had four episodes in total right now. I've been wanting to make this since the first three episodes dropped because I guess there's, I mean, it's not really quote unquote, there is a lot of controversy with the show so far. It's not bad, okay? And based off of what we're about to say, don't think we think it's fucking awful because it's not. But it is like the least of the of the seasons they put out. It looks like it's picking up now. Yeah, it started off. Ramp it, up uh, it started off a little like slow and kind of all over the place, which I was like, oh man, like do they know what they're doing this season? But um, now it, it kind of looks like we're we're getting there. But we are already halfway through the season, so yeah. Four, four more episodes, hopefully they get it together in the next one. Which is a lot of time, that's like four hours yeah. right there, yeah. essentially. Um, but also with the, the controversy of this season, it's like people really hammering down. This shit was the dumbest <laughs> thing ever, and it's just everyone like going around saying, oh my God, the boys the is boys woke. The boys is woke, Dude, they've oh gone woke. Yeah, I even see some like YouTube reviewers that are like, I haven't seen the season, but based off what I said, like I'm I've not seen. watching. Yeah, I'm not watching this. I'm like, dude, just watch it. Like if you liked the other three seasons, yeah. give it a shot. If it's, it's not up really, your standards. It's it's not that bad. No, it's not. It's. I think it's still good yeah. television at the end of the day, but to just go around saying it's woke when I guess quote unquote, no one even knows that. I don't even know what that word fucking means anymore. But one of the things that I, I notice is like, okay, yeah, it can be a little on the nose with making fun of like uh, Republicans or the conservatives or the right, whatever you want to say. But at the same time, I'm like, I feel like people often just overlook when they make fun of, I guess, leftist agendas or the left. Like, I mean, they have, like, Ashley, her whole character is just basically like a Hollywood exec yeah. that goes up to her and he's like, okay, you're, you're, you're 10 points down with the minorities on Tuesday. And on Wednesday, we gotta beat the quota. So I need you to go run around like with Feed My Starving Children and a picture of Africa on your chest. You know what I mean? Like, like that's just a blatant, like, like making like making fun of yeah. dumb companies like um, Blizzard Activision. Yeah. One time they, they literally did like a chart for each character of Overwatch. And it's like, all right, so she's uh, she's black, gay, and she's in a wheelchair. That gives her 2,500 disability points. Like they literally charted that and then made sure they hit a quota with each character. And it's like, what? Just make a good character. Doesn't it's matter insane. what race or their sexuality yeah. and shit. Cause I think it's pretty clear like that both sides, at least in the show that they're like making fun of, it's it's pretty obvious that they're not sides you really want to back. Yeah. At least no, what, no. The, what the sides that they show in the TV series, cause obviously it's fantasy at the end of the day. It's, it's fiction. It's very outlandish and it's very over the top. There, there are some moments I, sh I can kind of, I guess agree with that. It's like, okay, it pokes fun of this side a little bit more, but at the same time, the past seasons, I think were very adamant on making fun of like um, the, what would you even, what would you even call that? The cultural appropriation, yeah. woke media, whatever. I don't fucking know, like Steven Crowder's worst nightmare. Um, but I still think this season balances it fine for the most part. That's uh, I think that's it for the, the controversy. Yeah. Aside from that, I, mean, oh, I guess people being mad that Frenchie's gay yeah. too, which I, I don't know why. I, I think he was very obviously, he would fuck anything, mm -hmm. anything that moved. And that this is honestly a detriment to his character because now it's like three seasons in a row, he wants to fuck something or is fucking something. And then that ends up fucking him over because they're like tied to his past life or his past life comes back and messes with his love interests. It's so repetitive. I mean, like this one in particular is pretty wild, you know, because I mean, are we doing spoilers or no? No, yeah, we can do spoilers. Spoilers. I mean, it is pretty fucking crazy because the guy that he's fucking, he fucking murdered his family. So, yes. Yeah. That's just kind of. That's like some <laughs> soap <laughs> opera shit, yeah, though. That's, that's crazy. That's too contrived. It's like, no, I love you, yeah. but you killed my family. <laughs> what an awful man. He's fucking. <laughs> it's like. I I had to. <laughs> I had to. <laughs> French, what the fuck? I don't think people would have had a problem with it if it was if it was just written better. Yeah. If it was genuinely just written better, because now we're we're getting towards essentially the end of the boys. I still think this series should have been three seasons max. I think they could have covered it all in three seasons. Yeah. Four seasons, I'm like, all right, I can understand that. Five seasons, I think that's a little pushing it. If they do six, I'm fucking done. But you can tell it just feels like they're stretching stuff out, so they need time like filler, and so they're like, oh, let's just give Frenchie another romance, but let's just rush it. Like right off the bat, they're already making out and fucking. Yeah. Like, dude, See, have them talk for more than ten seconds. Here's the thing: is I I really hope they don't do this, but that could be some sort of like setup for like a Frenchie prequel. You know what I'm saying? Oh god. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, if they do like a prequel yeah. series. But yeah, it's just written poorly. It feels like a soap opera. It feels like a, a like a rated R Hallmark movie. A lot of their lines are very predictable. Yeah, I noticed that. Like being able to finish their lines in my head before they get said. Like I wasn't able to do that with the past three seasons. Yeah, but you then know, with this one, it's really, really random. Yeah. 
It doesn't make it bad. It doesn't, <laughs> yeah, it, it yeah. doesn't break the show. Yeah. It doesn't break the show. And it doesn't take too much time, but it definitely is like, <laughs> I think it was uh, the moment where I was finally like, okay, I'm done with the storyline. It was, I think it was during the riot. When it was like the riot between the Starlight people and the Homelander people, where like Todd was yeah. killed there, yeah. um, it's when Colin's like on the ground, and then Frenchie all of a sudden somehow manages yeah. to find he him. Runs over there. The and he's like, Colin, no! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and everyone's just walking around and shit. I don't know. Like that. That was that was very contrived. It was very contrived. That's definitely like a plot point the show would make fun of in a superhero movie. But yeah, I mean, those are like the, the two big controversies. I think other than that, it's a it's a fine season. Yeah. Fine season so far. I just, I'm really hoping they just kind of keep up the pace of episode four. Episode four was good, aside from the Colin yeah. shit. There, there is some very good stuff, though. Yeah. Some really good material with Homelander. And the butt fucking. The, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely was blown away. God, I wish I could clone myself. <laughs> oh, Jesus. So I have a couple of pros and cons on my list because I think there, there definitely are a lot of big issues that have carried on from the other seasons and also other issues that I think have kind of popped up out of nowhere in this one. Like when Starlight went to go beat the shit out of Firecracker, I'm just like, okay, like, come on now. Like you're supposed to be kind of like the smart one here. Yeah. Like you and like MM. You know, uh, like supposed to be like the actual people that the, are like, the brainy ones that are like, okay, wait, hold on. Like, and she was so quick to like almost beat the shit out of A Train, and then that ended up paying off that she yeah. didn't. You know, so yeah, that kind of pissed me off. I was like, why? Are you, like, you're the one person that shouldn't let your emotions get the best of you. That's true. I, I do agree with that. I like the scene, but I yeah. I agree with it 100. percent I think my biggest one so far is actually the Homelander trial. That was built up a lot in the teasers and even in the past season because I was like, well, that's kind of a big thing. He's never yeah, like, like openly he, killed people like this, he, this extent. And this is pretty controversial. This is already on top of like, I'm gonna start like recording him on Instagram Live, making those threats to her and all the controversy with Vought, yeah. right? And yet somehow the trial's over and then that's it. It's never addressed. Nope. And then same shit with Ryan. Ryan fucking killed somebody. Oh yeah, how well, we like, just what, yeah, like, someone? Like, what are the fucking repercussions for that? Nothing. Like, like none? Just because he's Homelander's kid? I mean, nobody, of course, nobody is gonna oppose Home. Homelander. But it's like, damn, bro. <laughs> like, they didn't even try. Yeah, because I think it would have been better if they had like someone say, like, "Oh, this new kid's a murderer." Yeah. Like, oh, he's getting raised by his psycho. That's psycho what I thought. Dad. That's what I thought was gonna happen. Was like, oh shit, like this was caught on Instagram live yeah. and like recorded it. I know the little and, girl was like. Thank you for saving, yeah, me. saving me. And I was like, yo, like, what are they gonna say? Like, Ryan just fucking killed somebody too. But now they all know that Ryan's just as strong as his fucking dad, so. Yep. There's no opposition. Nope. So. And, and I guess to be fair, they were only halfway through the season, so yeah. other stuff can get so, brought yeah. up later In the next, in the the next four episodes, Ryan might go to fucking jail. Yeah, we you know? <laughs> so. Yeah, so I guess this, this this stuff could be brought up later down the yeah. line, but I think I still think it should have been addressed. And my whole idea with the Homelander trial right here is I think it should have been la it should have lasted longer, and that should have been the final thing that puts Homelander over the edge. Like that's the final thing where it's like, okay, my public image is officially ruined because so now bad. legally I have to go to jail. Yeah. They're saying I'm accountable for this, and even though I'm superhuman, they're gonna say like, it's hey true. man, you gotta go to jail. You gotta follow the rules like us humans. And he's like, well, I'm not a human. I'm not following the rules. And like I'm already I've already yeah. snapped from episode four and whatever they're gonna do for five, six, yeah. and seven, eight, whatever. I think that would have been the perfect thing to finally end with. Like, oh yeah, I'm, 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 I have nothing left to lose. I'm just gonna go for it and start killing everybody. Right, yeah. Anthony Starr, is, this is probably the best he's ever been with Homelander. He's actually like just fucking terrific. Like he better win an award yeah, for this. Yeah, like, like particularly that scene where uh, he's like telling Ryan he's like ungrateful and like a yeah. piece of shit. Like, and then right after that, talking to himself in the mirror, I was like, oh man. And you can tell he's just like, he's just shattering, yeah. shattering, and shattering. Like, shattering. Oh, that's so good. And this is where the writing really excels too, because um, yeah, I think I like when he goes to like the red door room. So mm -hmm. where he was essentially yeah. raised, that's where like John was born, but that's also where John, John died, died. And that's where Homelander was born. Mm -hmm. And then that's when officially all of John seems like dies because he literally kills everyone that was responsible for him. There's no other people besides, I guess, Stan besides Edgar, yeah. right? Well, and I mean, of course we don't know yet if he kills that one lady that's in there. Oh yeah, but I mean, I think it's insinuated yeah, it's, that she's that, gonna that starve she's gonna in there. die in there. Yeah, yeah, she's just gonna starve in there, so. Mm. I think that was really good because then it's like that was the true official like death of all the humanity he kind of had left. Now I guess technically it's really just Ryan yeah. and that's it. Mm. And even then he's getting jealous of his own son. Yeah. So it just shows that he's a sociopath and he's never going to be happy yeah. because he's just such a self like a selfish human being. And it's and it's weird too because it almost makes you um, 
sympathize with him, you know? And there's definitely moments in the past seasons where I'm like, oh man, like he's definitely been through a lot. It's like, oh God, everyone's just manipulating him constantly. But I'm also like, that guy's also a fucking monster. <laughs> yeah, he's also it's also kind of, yeah, I got to put that aside. Yeah. Like, yeah, this guy has to go. Mm. He has to go. But yeah, definitely like, as I was watching too, it was just like, there's going to be a lot of people that relate to the particular situation, just like with the, like a dysfunctional family and like, like having not so much a bad father figure, but like, He's almost like a dad that doesn't know how to be a dad, you know? I, I've always had the opinion that the Homelander clone twist was stupid. I think there's there's a way they could have made it interesting, but I'm also like, well, what's gonna stop the Homelander clone from killing everybody then? Yeah, also. This Homelander <laughs> clone's already eating babies and doing like the most horrific shit ever. Yeah. Like just the most crazy graphic shit that Garth Ennis could write. And I don't know, I just always thought that was kind of like, it's just like, that's a very dumb twist, right? Yeah. It's like, oh my God, he had a twin brother the whole time. You know, like that's the kind of twist that it felt like. I don't know what you think about the Homelander clone twist from the comics. It's, I don't know, it could be cool in live action, you know, of course, but there is that one caveat where it's like, he could just also be a piece of shit. Yeah. And, and just kill everyone. Like what's their plan you when know? the clone doesn't turn to Homelander yeah. or that too, yeah, yeah. right? Really, and I'm curious to see what they do with Soldier Boy. I'm assuming he's not going to be in this whole season. I think he'll be in season five. I'll go back to the negatives. They're 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 really just minor nitpicks. And one thing that I've always had is just the editing. I think the editing's dog shit. In term, not in terms of like effects, not in terms of choreography. It's the editing that makes it very strange. And I think um, a prime example of that is the Huey fight scene when Huey's fighting the one guy. There's like five different cuts in the span of three seconds. I don't know what it is with some American television, but they just can't do action yeah. right. It could have just been like my eye fucked up, but I feel like I caught like a couple of hits that that clearly like just didn't hit. Yeah. Like. Or even just like some shots where someone's facing this way and then the next shot they're looking the other way. Yeah. Like there are very minor things like that where I think the editing could definitely excel more. I think we just nitpick that just because of what we do on YouTube all the time. No, yeah. No, but I, I still do think that the action has gotten better, but I, yeah. I think a, a problem with the boys has been at least the hand-to-hand -hand combat mm. has always been very sucky. I don't know if you've, have you seen the, do you remember the Queen Maeve fight scene? Which one? It's really bad. Yeah. Like for no reason, it'll be one hit coming this way and then they cut and then they cut again. Like why do you need three different cuts for that? Your people are already watching a 40, 50 minute drama series about superheroes. They have an attention span. Yeah. They will watch. These people go through hard work to film this and it just seems really tedious. Yeah, I mean, it could be a number of things, you know, it could be actors and actresses just can't do it. Yeah. But like that's what double over for and shit. Yeah. There's there's ways around it, I think. And I, I genuinely I genuinely just think it's just incompetence in the editing room. Yeah. I really sure. think so. Yeah. I really think so. Um that's always been like a, a big pet peeve of mine. Maybe I'm just spoiled, but Daredevil has some of the greatest action I've ever seen in a TV show. Or even like not necessarily new Marvel, but like post endgame Marvel even. Like some of the stuff there. Some of their hand-to-hand -hand combat stuff is really good, like in yeah. Echo and, and things like that. Uh -huh. You know, it's Definitely. just, uh, it's interesting to see them like do things like this in The Boys when you have the blueprints. The, yeah, the MM storyline. Yeah. MM's one of my favorite characters, if not my favorite character from the whole show. I, I really like, I think Laz does a great job. He's a lot better in this than he is in the comics. I think it's so too. funny seeing the memes where it's like, all right, like Butcher's like, all right, we, we need to kill Homelander. And then, and then it's just like MM's shirt. It's like some random ass like rap group rap or group? something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah he had like his an own, MF Doom one. Yeah. He had a tribe called Dude, Quest. Okay. His MF Doom hoodie went hard. Yeah, that shit was cool. <laughs> yeah, he's always dripped out. Yeah, it's really always. cool. It's, yeah, it, it is cool to see him get more aggressive with people in the season. For too. sure, yeah. Because uh, like he realizes Butcher. When he beats the, the shit out is. of Butcher, I was like, "Fuck yeah, dude!" Big it was ass. satisfying. Fuck Butcher. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, he's so ass. stupid. Yeah. So, uh, but definitely, it's not even just his story. I mean, like you have Kamiko's backstory and stuff on here too. So it's like mm. a lot of stories just aren't as deep as we'd like them to be. And cause I think MM's story was really good in season three. I still think it could have used a little more fleshing out, but I liked it. Mm -hmm. I liked it towards at least the end. Um, and then even in like season one and season two, I think his stuff with his daughter and then his OCD yeah. 
how he was dealing with that. And even the marriage stuff, I was interested because I was like, oh, I mean, yeah, this guy's like working with a team that's going to murder technically celebrities right now. So, of course, his life at home is going to be a little shaky and stuff, especially because it also gives you that perspective of someone who's raising a kid that literally looks up to these heroes and he's killing the same heroes that she looks up to. Yeah. Yeah, I think the firecracker, the allegation, or I guess, yeah, it's not even allegations, right? She just sort of did it. Yeah, she did that shit. Yeah, that, I, can, I can suspend my disbelief for a lot. Yeah. I think if someone goes up there after something gets leaked and fully admits to just like a, an actual proven case like that, I think that would kind of just be the end all be all, mm -hmm. especially with them being so, I guess, far right. I don't know, like the, the political <laughs> shit. I don't yeah. think a lot of people in the far are gonna be like, oh yeah, pedophile, let's go. Yeah, let's go. I don't yeah. think people in general yeah. are gonna be like, pedophile, let's go. Obviously, you know, Drake. There's, there's, <laughs> there's people the, out there that justify yeah, it. Yeah, there are gonna be people that defend that, but I don't think to this degree. But yet again, this is an alternate reality where people have been raised on fucking yeah. superheroes from the get-go. I don't know, I thought that was a little outlandish, a little outlandish. No, as soon as she was like, I'll post that shit myself and post it, I was like, I was like, well, so at first, because like, I didn't know what the fuck was gonna happen next. I was like, so what was the whole like point in her storyline then? Mm -hmm. I was like, if she's just gonna go to fucking jail for being a pedophile, why did she even get introduced? I don't know, I guess, I mean, this could always be brought up later down the line. Yeah. Like, this could be, a lot of this stuff could be fixed later. It doesn't mean that it's not, it couldn't be better in the beginning mm -hmm. couple episodes though. Yeah. yeah, and Kimiko's story, I just, I couldn't give less of a shit about. I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> I, I think she's a cool character and I think her backstory's there, but she's not interesting. Like, I, I actually do you, do you think it's because she doesn't talk? No. Really? Okay. I actually, I, I think that makes her more interesting. Why doesn't she talk? Yeah. Right? Right. You know, like she was raised like as like a child warrior. She clearly has like a past with these people. Even her plot line with her. Do you, yeah, yeah. I forget she had a brother. Yeah, he fucking died he in died. season two. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I forget about that he all the time. Died. It, yeah. was, it was like that. Yeah, yeah. instantly died. Storm like Stormfront just kills him. And I and I think there was a lot of stuff they could have explored more. I'm super interested to see what happens with A-Train. I hope he goes out like a hero. Yeah, I'm really locked in with that. I really want A-Train to like kinda get put in the spotlight here in, in the next four episodes. Let's also not forget he's an awful person. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, fucking, yeah. I'm always like, oh, I'm rooting for this guy. And yeah. then I'm like, Oh my God, he forced his girlfriend to OD with like 50 different needles yeah. in the span of two seconds. Yeah, so, all right, but he did kill a racist. That is so true. He comes, and now he's got his heart. Yeah. He literally has a change of heart. Yeah. So I, I'm really I'm really curious. I, I like his character a lot. I'm, mm -hmm. I All the bot stuff is always interesting. Yeah. You know, with Ashley. Um, hell, even with that, the one guy that gets his balls crushed. What's his <laughs> yeah. name? The, 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 the TV anchor or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Just got but I'm, him like, tied up. I'm like, this is funny. Mm -hmm. This works. It works really well yeah. when it does the satirical stuff with corporations. It was really small, but it was kind of cool to see, um, you know, Ashley was at like her breaking point. She was like, fuck it. I'm gonna quit. And then Homelander fucking kills somebody right in front of her. And she's like, fuck this, I have to stay. <laughs> like, oh, that's terrifying. Yeah, that's so, terrifying. You know, it's just, uh, that's probably how some of the public probably feels as well. After seeing Homelander fucking laser somebody. Yeah, murder somebody in know, broad daylight. It's like, fuck dude, like that could have been me. And well, of course, you know, some people aren't gonna cheer that shit on, but, mm -hmm. or throw shit at If I was in that crowd, I'd probably kid. be like, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. Yeah, but, so I hope they explore that more. Yeah. I hope they explore that kind of that part of it. It's always really, yeah, it's always a lot fear. of fun to see, like yeah. him just walk into a room and you're like, all right, someone's gonna <laughs> yeah, die. Someone's, fucking someone's gonna die. Like he always has that look on his face too, and you know it's about yeah, to happen. He's like, what do you think of Sister Sage? I was gonna bring her up next because I okay. realized I was like, yeah, we haven't talked about her a lot. Mm. I like her. Really? Okay. I, 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 just don't, I don't know where her character is going. That's what I'm and saying. And that's why I kind of like it. Yeah. Because she seems to be working, obviously, with the superheroes and yeah. stuff. But I think she's just doing it out of morbid curiosity. She's like, all right, let's see how far I can just fucking ruin yeah. everyone's life and see mm. what that's like, right? Yeah. Because she literally has to get lobotomized, which yeah. that scene was hard to watch. Oh my God. I, was, I like, was watching it today and I was like, oh. Fucking God. I was like, Ugh. Trust the dumbest member to <laughs> yeah, give her a lobotomy. To lobotomize your ass. Oh man, dude, that shit was fucking hard. Yeah, that, that but, was a um, struggle to get through. But yeah, overall, her character is pretty fucking cool. You know, maybe somebody will catch on to what she's doing now that she's kind of in the public spotlight. Yeah. Um, well, not. Uh, <laughs> they might not, but like she has no real, like, devastating powers, you know what I'm saying? It's just smart. Yeah, just hella smart and her brain can fucking regrow. You know, but does that like also, I mean, I would assume 
Like gunshots are the same thing, right? Because I mean, she got a fucking lobotomy and he dug that shit in there. Yeah, I don't know if it's just her brain that regenerates. I guess right. the superheroes are really inconsistent with powers because yeah. sometimes they're like born bulletproof, mm -hmm. and then others are just born with like, all right, I can hear really well. Yeah. So, because I'm not bulletproof. <laughs> yeah, she said that like, you know, she takes something to the heart, she's dead. Mm -hmm. But you know, anything that happens to her brain, it'll grow back. Yeah. So does that mean so, she can still like? Can she take a gunshot to the head and be fine? I don't know. We'll see. So yeah, in the end, very excited, very excited to see what they they continue to do with this season. Definitely isn't as bad as people are saying. The woke shit, just that's so dumb. I don't know. I think, I think people are definitely overreacting with that kind of shit. It's not Disney level or no. anything like that. You'll you'll have fun. It, it, it's it's still funny. It still has a lot of personality. Yeah. It's enjoyable. It's, it's still the boys. Glory. It's still yeah. the boys. You still get a lot of that shock yeah. value. But yeah. I think the story. Yeah, is like still that there. that fight with Ezekiel and Butcher. I'm all. Oh, I want to see where that goes to. Oh, with his power, yeah. and I just blew him up out he of nowhere. He just fucking blew his ass up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll see where it goes, and we'll do another video for the latter half. Yeah, when uh, when episode eight comes out. Mm -hmm. Excited for it. Mm -hmm. Bye.